And let's talk about Parler. In many ways, is it a refuge of the right now? And, and in, in that way, perhaps a more concentrated echo chamber. And, and what are the risks in that? And yes, Parler has become an echo chamber for the right, which is particularly ironic because it talks about in its mission and its uh, founder talks about wanting it to be a platform on which uh, ideas can be debated for a productive conversation. And yet in practice, it runs exactly counter to that and has become very much an echo chamber. But what, what are the risks of that? I mean, there, there is a lot of overt racism, anti-Semitism, already on that site and and worse too I mean without limits uh, isn't isn't that risky so recognizing that a poorly moderated platform uh, may allow for terrorists both foreign and domestic to recruit or plan um, You'll also see online conspiracy theories that we worry about moving offline, which we've already seen with Pizzagate and QAnon. How many times now have we been told by the left that if we don't like big tech's Orwellian CCP style censorship, then we should just move to another platform or just start our own? So Parler starts up and is immediately adopted by several high profile conservatives, making it the number one place for exiled conservatives, Republicans, libertarians, and basically just anybody who opposes the left. What the media does next is very predictable. We're going to dig right into the Democrat Party state media's attempts to crush dissent and gaslight the country, but first a quick word from our sponsor. After 20 years old, your body will naturally decrease its collagen production by 12% each passing decade. This is a leading reason as to why skin appears thinner and more wrinkled as we age. It's essential for skin, bones, and more. And the way to keep our skin looking healthy and youthful is by consuming five different types of collagen. Ageless Multi Collagen provides you with the five types of collagen your body needs and one complete protein. As an added bonus, Ageless Multi Collagen is non-GMO and there's zero artificial flavors, colors, preservatives, sweeteners, gluten, or antibiotics. You'll enjoy powerful support for your body with results you can see and feel in a few short weeks. Get Ageless Multi Collagen for 51% off plus free shipping by going to www.healthwithdronetech.com or by clicking the link in the video description box below. So yeah, those headlines are a small sampling of the propaganda onslaught currently underway to destroy the latest opposition beachhead to the left-wing DNC echo chamber. What we're seeing right now is the same old playbook that we've seen for the last few decades and they keep using it because it works. Now first off, the media throws around terms like right wing and far right like a damn grenade. It really just means anybody who stands in opposition to the establishment media and the Democrat party, and they want you to think that that's very, very bad. Meanwhile, being left-wing is okay, being far left is okay, and we know this because the media simply doesn't use these terms as derogatory slurs, or even at all. One thing I'm struck by in these headlines is just the unadulterated gaslighting. The accusations against the quote right that are exactly what the left and their media are actively engaged in. How about our country's so-called free press being used to promote and protect extreme leftists who have been given cover for the last four years to do whatever they want to do? We even have media organizations like CNN literally inciting left-wing terrorist organizations to carry out attacks on ICE facilities. Oh, but the media doesn't report on that or rather reports on it very little then buries it never to be spoken of again so basically, it's like it never happened. Out of these places where hate develops. I also want to talk about the harms that we see to democracy, that if you allow a space where none of these uh, claims are going to be countered, that people are going to believe that an election was unfair or illegitimate. Really? For the last few years, we've been told our president is a Russian agent and the election illegitimate, as they now tell us that any suggestion that the election was illegitimate is a far right-wing conspiracy theory. As I predicted, when Democrats win, the all clear is given. All these accusations against the right allegedly desiring echo chambers where their views can't be challenged are also incredibly laughable. 
Big tech is forcing their political oppositions off the platform. Conservatives and general opposition to the left don't want to leave these platforms. They're being forced off through censorship. And when it comes to echo chambers, even Dorsey himself admitted that it was left-wingers on Twitter that preferred the bubbles. And it was the right that, quote, cross-pollinated. Uh, was it Sam Harris that the left, these left uh, liberal journalists only follow each other? Yeah, in, in the in the run up to the 2016 elections. Yeah, and so uh, I mean, I I still believe that to be true. And I've worked in these offices. It has changed. They, they've done the study again, the visualization, and, and now there is a lot more cross pollination. But we what we saw is uh, folks who were reporting on the left end of the spectrum mainly followed folks on the left, and folks on the right followed everyone. Right. Which you were talking about earlier, that there's yep. these bubbles. There's, there's yeah. bubbles, and we've helped create them. So there you have it. They have set their sights on Parler, which will no doubt lead to pressure to censor anyone standing in opposition to the media or the Democrats. It doesn't matter what your views are as an individual. The media has decided that if you oppose them, then you're all right-wing terrorists. There is zero doubt that heading into a possible Biden administration, our so-called free press will be nothing more than a mouthpiece for it. You can help me to keep up this fight by supporting me using one of the links in the description or pin comment. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button and share it maybe if you have some extra time. As always, thanks for watching and I'll see y'all next time.